This review is going to be a little bit different. My computer is not working right now, so I won't be able to edit like I normally do. So I'm going to have to do this in one take and hopefully not make too many mistakes because I hate editing on my phone. So we're going to see how this goes, but we got the Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy VII Remake, Yuffie. And this is based on her look in the uh, Integrate DLC, basically like a, a DLC for the remake that went over some backstory on Yuffie and some other characters that they made up for that. So I'm not a big fan of this look, but it is the only figure of Yuffie. Eventually, they'll probably release another Yuffie figure that looks like the way she looked in the original. But for now, this is the only figure of Yuffie. That's why I picked it up. Now, one big question I did have ever since the figure first came out, they ever since they showed the promotional images, the big question I had was whether this thing, this cloak thing, is remo removable. So, the answer to that question, you're going to find out in this review. So, we're going to get right into the figure. First thing you're going to notice is the way that it's on the stand which is it's attached to the side of the figure here and that's because it can't go in the back because this is uh, a little bit of a hard plastic not totally hard but it is it's not gonna be able to get out of the way to get the stand on the back so that's why you gotta put the stand on the side and then her arm doesn't go down all the way because of the stand so stand is not totally useless but pretty much this is the only way you're gonna get the figure to stand on the stand Let's look at the accessories. So she does come with five other hands. And you can see she has a open hand here, a fist, and a hand holding materia. In the previous video, I was talking about the size of materia, how it's like inconsistent sizes. So this is like a big piece of materia. And here we have the other hands for the arm that has the armor on it. You got an open hand and a fist. And she does have her shuriken holding hand and a open hand and of course she has a shuriken holding hand because she does come with her giant shuriken so it's pretty good uh, good detail throughout you can see the little pieces of materia again I don't know why like in the, in the previous video I said probably because like they can break it down into smaller pieces maybe it's not the same thing I don't know I just never heard that addressed in the game so I'm not sure the real answer to that. But anyways, the shuriken looks nice. Uh, you can tell it's made out of just plastic. It's not any sort of like die cast or anything. Would have been cool if it was a little bit more shinier. But it's not bad the way that they did it. Mine does have some paint coming off of it right there. So that's unfortunate. Um, there's also some paint coming off on the figure, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, so details are nice. The way that this goes in is you can take off the uh, the blade pieces here. You want to be careful taking that off because you can stab yourself. And it's not super sharp, but it is sharp enough to hurt you. Uh, these two sides don't come off. It's only the blades on the sides of the wraps. They did a good job on the scale. It's not too big. It's not too small. So I like the way that turned out. She also comes with an alternate uh, neck piece. So this replaces this neck piece and the top of the uh, costume here. I forgot what this is called. It's, it's an animal. I forgot the name of it. But it does come with a, a hood down alternate piece. So you can have her whole head showing. It does come with an alternate head. And you can put this expression on this head. So you can have this expression with this hair and with the hood down. And you can... A couple different display options there. So that's cool. Also, the faces turned out pretty good, actually. Surprisingly, I want to say it's better than the previous. So this is the previous figure, Jesse. Let me know what you guys think. Is the new one better? I think this looks like the actual character more than this does. So I think this is better. I mean, the older ones, they're not terrible. But I just think they could have done better, and I've already been over that before. Uh, so let's get into the actual figure here. So the, the articulation is limited because you have this big plastic cloak cape thing. So, but it, you can move the arms out that far and you can move them forward. And you can see that they sculpted the arm completely under the cloak. Uh, same thing with this one. A little bit harder to move this one. There's more plastic getting caught on other pieces of plastic 
because you just have this big plastic cloak over it so articulation is hindered uh, the legs are fine the sculpting is pretty good actually the you got the socks here you got the shoes and you got the fishnet sculpted which is actually does have texture to it it's not just a flat painted piece of plastic it does have some texture to it you can't see her shorts under there so everything nicely sculpted I mentioned before the knees are kind of loose so that is one problem that I wish wasn't there but the way they did the ankle joints is kind of interesting so the ankle joints actually so the ankle actually moves higher than the ankle itself I guess so it's kind of like a, a shin joint which is kind of weird but it does it does work I guess it doesn't look the best looks pretty ugly but it does provide for more articulation and the articulation with the hood on is it's okay you're, you're able to get a decent amount of expressiveness with the uh, the costume on uh, but obviously with the uh, with this collar piece off and the hood down you get more head range so the way you do that you just take the the head off which is fairly easy you take the bottom neck piece off just take the face off you can remove the face from the hood so you can have this expression on the non-hooded head or, or you can have this expression in the hood uh, and then so you take the, the hood down you just put it around the neck you put the unhooded head on the neck and there you have the head with the hood down you get a little bit more articulation there's less plastic in the way so you can move the head more articulate the head more so that's cool I like the way they they did that they give you a lot of options with the uh, with the heads and a good range of expressions you can get out of the figure so I like that uh, now let's take a closer look at the figure under the cloak so this was the big question that I had when the promotional images first came out can you remove the cloak so the answer to that is yes and no you can remove the cloak but it doesn't look the best under there and I'll just go ahead and show you so basically you want to remove the head and this is just tabbed in to a ball joint and you don't have to heat it up or anything you can just take it off but it does have this ball joint sticking out so you can see where where it attaches there same thing on the other side there are two smaller ball joints that this connects on so and you can see the shoulder just looks ugly so it has two tumors sticking out of it you can't take it off and then this part uh, it was glued in but the glue was very weak so just like messing with it for a little bit it already came off and you can see where it's glued and the tab and on the front same thing where it was glued and the tab that it slotted into so yeah you, you can remove it but it doesn't look it doesn't look good it looks weird around this neck area there's like chunks missing out of the plastic so if they were to do this figure again without the cloak and actually have an accurate Final Fantasy 7 the original uh, design it wouldn't look like this that it have more stuff filled out and everything but it is possible to remove it and I guess it kind of gives you an idea of what what the other design would look like in figure form and here we can actually take a look at the actual articulation and you can check out the elbow joints which are similar to the previous elbow joints the ones I don't like but these this looks like a tighter assembly so it's not as loose as Aerith or Jesse so that's, so that's an improvement. So here we can take a look, closer look at the articulation and the, uh, the range of motion. There's a lot of paint chipping in this joint. So it's kind of like NECA figures. If, if you're familiar, they paint on the joints. And the, uh, the paint rubs off when you move. So that's kind of what's going on there. Some kind of imperfections on the, on the paint or the plastic. So it is kind of cool that you can take the cloak off and look at the articulation and they have the entire thing sculpted I mean I guess they didn't have to uh, but they went ahead and did that but it's not the greatest looking figure because it has all the ball joints and the the holes in it so it's kind of disappointing but I guess you know what else are what else are they gonna do we can look at the uh, the articulation and the range of motion and the leg movement 
and everything is everything is pretty good as you'd expect. And there's a thigh rotation. Toe hinge. There's no ankle rotation. The uh, double knees. The waist movement is pretty good. And the upper torso movement also. Bicep swivel, bevel elbows, not really hindered by the plastic. It is a little bit by the armor, but that's still pretty good. Also, swapping out hands is pretty easy. It's not as hard as some of the other figures. And it is a tight fit. It's not a loose fit. It does go on there secure. So you don't have to worry about the hands falling off or anything like that. Like the Jesse figure, hands are kind of loose on there. So that's cool. It's kind of like a butterfly joint here. And the uh, neck joint does have a lot of movement. So that's what the figure looks under the cloak. That's what it's got going on. So cool that you can take the cloak off and see what's going on. But it's kind of dumb how it's not like an actual figure. Like if they actually released a figure with this look, it wouldn't look like this. Or at least I hope it doesn't. It shouldn't look like this. It should look like an actual, like it does in the game. But nonetheless, you can do that. Maybe some customizers could like fill in the holes and uh, take out the joints and fill those in. And, uh, it looks like a lot of work, though. So, um, yeah, and I thought, like, well, if the cloak isn't removable, and if it doesn't look good underneath, I'm probably just going to sell it. But now it's got some, like, damage on it and paint flaking. And so, and honestly, the, the look with the cloak on it is starting to grow on me. So, also, I forgot to mention that the cloak and the hood does have sculpted detail, so it's not completely flat. There's texturing all throughout, so that's that's nice. Then, like I said before, you got to attach the figure to the stand from the side because there's no room anywhere else on the figure. All right, so let's look at some comparisons. So, just I have this figure right next to me anyway. So, here's just comparison between Yuffie and Jesse. Uh, maybe she should Yuffie should be a little bit shorter. This might be a little bit too tall, but it might just look like that because of the costume. But I'm not not I'm not sure what her height is. There's Aerith. And there's Tifa. Man, her face is probably the worst. And last comparison. Here's Cloud. So he is appropriately taller than uh, the other figures, but appropriately taller than Yuffie. So that's cool. They didn't mess up the sizing there. For some other uh, companies, for comparison, here is... WWE Mattel Elite Booker T for a comparison. Here's McFarlane Violator. This is already like over 20 minutes. Dang it, and I gotta edit 20 minutes of footage on my phone. That's gonna suck. You know, I'm just gonna stop right here. So, whatever, this is a cool trio. Figure's pretty good. Uh, again, I'm a little disappointed that the figure doesn't look as good underneath the cloak. But, I don't know, this look is starting to grow on me. So, it's not as bad as it could be. I'm a little disappointed though, and they're probably going to release another one that's closer to the original design, so I'm going to have to buy that one too. But we'll see when that comes out. And they're also doing the Bring Arts, the 6-inch uh, scale Final Fantasy VII figures that's more closer to the original designs. I'm hoping they make a Yuffie, hoping they make uh, just everyone in that line. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of uh, this figure. Let me know what you think of uh, the review. And I'll see you guys in the next one.